All right, so here with number 60, we've been given, <clears throat> excuse me, radical negative 8 over radical negative 4. And we can do this problem in one of two ways. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what I think is probably the easier way first, and then I'll show you uh, the other way how to do this. So if you recall from earlier in the uh, review series, we talked about how you can take two separate radicals like this when written as a rational expression, and you can rewrite it as a single radical, right? So instead of two separate radicals, we'll just have one single radical, and under that radical we'll have negative 8 over negative 4. Well, now we're just going to use some basic uh, simplification here and ask ourselves, well, what is negative 8 divided by negative 4? Well, that's going to be a positive 2, isn't it? And then we're finished, actually. The answer is radical 2. We cannot break this down into good stuff, bad stuff. And 2 is not a perfect square. And so our final answer is just simply radical 2. So this is the first way you can do it. Or what you could do is we're going to go ahead and take the original expression that we had. So radical negative 8 over radical, radical negative 4. And we're going to break each of our numerator and denominator into good stuff and bad stuff. Good stuff and bad stuff. And you might recall from the previous video where we talked about the negative itself is going to be in the good radical. Uh, good radical. But 8, unfortunately, is not a perfect square. So we're going to have to break this down into good stuff, bad stuff. And what is the largest perfect square that we can multiply by some other number to get to 8? Well, if you said 4 and 2, then you've got it. So let's go ahead and make sure that we've got everything here. Negative 4 times 2 gives us negative 8. Good to go. All right, now let's go ahead and break down our negative 4 into good stuff, bad stuff. Well, again, our negative will go in the good radical. And 4 actually happens to be a perfect square, right? So all of that 4 is going to go in the good stuff radical. We have no bad stuff. And so now when we go ahead and pull out what is good from our radical, what's member under the good radical is going to come out clean and clear and free. And so this negative is going to come out as i. 4 is going to come out as 2. And again, we usually write the number in front of our i. So we have 2i, and then we're going to rewrite our radical. So radical 2, and then over. Well, again, negative 4 under the radical. Well, in our numerator, we got 2i. So again, when this negative 4 comes out, we're going to end up with 2i again. And then just using some basic simplification here, 2i, 2i cancels. And so we're left with the same radical 2. So either way, you get to the same answer. But I think, like I said, this first way is uh, a lot easier and fewer steps. But whichever way you prefer to do it, uh, we still arrive at the same answer. So negative two, uh, excuse me, radical two is our answer for number 60. Let's go ahead and take a look at number 61. I'll see you there.